How's it going, Joshua Six Up Tabletop? Today, reviewing French artillery for Epic Battles Waterloo from Warlord Games. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the different artillery units that the French have access to, uh, the different model kits. I'm reviewing kind of how I modeled them, the different poses they have, and just talking briefly about the French artillery that come with the Epic Battles range. Let's take a look at the units that I have not that I'm not reviewing, but are also uh, available to be purchased on Warlord Games website. Super brief, going over the Imperial Guard Horse Artillery, known as some of the best artillery in the French Army period. They can move around quickly. Um, they're made from Warlord resin, and it's just not something that I'm interested at this moment um, to be adding into my collection. But I thought it's worth mentioning we'll be covering uh, standard horse artillery, not from Imperial Guard in a little bit. Here we have the line artillery and the guard artillery limbers. Um, kind of like I mentioned earlier with the other guard horse. I'm just not something I'm currently looking to add to my collection. I think they're beautiful models um, in terms of table space that I have. I think it would take a little bit more time and effort and a little bit more space on the table than I currently like to have. So I'm going to keep that space on the table just for movement. Uh, and for and for models, I have other ways that I'm gonna model my uh, horse artillery without specific limbers. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But I just wanted to cover those before we get into the main topic. So first up, I'm reviewing the foot artillery for the Imperial Guard. Now this is found in the Imperial Guard um, quote unquote expansion kit uh, for the middle and old guard. And these, I covered these in, in that video as well, but these are a little bit larger. These are the 12 pounders, the heavy artillery in the different games. I'll show you an example of what they would look like side by side. I'll get that to zoom. So on the left is the heavy artillery. You can just see it just has a, a bigger barrel and the six pounder on the right has a, um, smaller barrel uh, also the obviously uniforms a little bit different as um, the guardsmen from the imperial guard have their bear um, yeah bear skins and the regular artillery men from the line are dressed a little bit different so the premise of that is that you get a few 12 pounders uh, most of the Napoleonic rules, they generally either hit better or have longer range. And I think this model kit um, is super cool. That box called, comes with three of them, but for all my guns in the batteries, I'm just running two, two bases. So that's covering the 12-pounder. Covering the 6-pounder line artillery. This artillery is found on each one of the infantry sprues. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Six, six pounder, uh, the starter box comes with 10 of them, so there's quite a lot to go around. Each of my batteries are gonna have two, two guns, and that'll represent one battery. Um, they look similar to the horse artillery. They have the double um, straps running across their um, back and front and I just modeled them similar to how um, they'd be uniformed uh, with the with the blue uniforms and the facings and uh, head, headgear with the extra red uh, added into them so the guns are smaller um, but I think they turned out pretty good next we'll cover the horse artillery Looking at the French horse artillery. Now this is a sp special kind of paint job that I did for mine. Um, I, tr I made them a little bit different. They have an ad some additional um, facings that are red. I added a couple more red details to the model, um, to the artillery men trying to, at least from my research, they had um, some additional things that made them uh, horse artillery versus line artillery. There's also a difference in terms of modeling that you can see across these two that the line artillery on the right have the double uh, white sashes and the horse artillery only has one single white sash. So that's another way to 
tell them apart. Um, since I did not want to get limbers, what I did, these are also six pounders, I added um, one of the battalion commanders, sorry, brigade commanders from the infantry sprue. To, normally, uh, he would have a bicorn on. I'm to zoom in a little bit there. That's about as close as I can get. I cut his bicorn off. I took one of the Voltiger heads um, from that same infantry sprue. Uh, I put that on his head uh, and painted it up as if he was a captain as part of the horse artillery crew. Um, still keeping his horse and just move them, move them up on the base. Um, this is an easy example of how I can show to other players um, that my artillery, our horse artillery, um, just by having yeah, a horse, a captain on a horse on the artillery dressed in the same uh, uniform as a horse artillery officer would be. I mean, I think there might be a little bit more um, adornment because that it is using the brigade commander model. Um, but I think overall it gets the process across. Um, focus on that, but yeah, it's it's a it's a nice model little diorama here with him ish issuing the orders. Um, I'm happy with that. So that's basically yeah the horse artillery, um, a much more mobile force on the battlefield. Get to move um, from position to position um, to yep. Shoot, shoot artillery and put put pressure on enemy squares and be able to respond a lot quicker than the line artillery. Also six pounders. So with the French, that's where we have it. We have uh, the horse artillery and the Imperial Guard, 12 pounder heavy artillery, and then the line six pound artillery, same as the horse artillery, uh, but in game that just has shorter movement. Um, so that's what I have for the French artillery. I think they're awesome kits, as Napoleon said, uh, or is attributed to God fights on the side uh, with the best artillery. So you got to go out there and have some awesome artillery uh, with your French army um, to put a beating down on the Anglo-British lines, especially during Waterloo. I think Napoleon had access to like 240, 250 different cannons and stuff. So crucial and fun part to have as part of your battlefield. Thanks for watching, Josh for 6 Up Tabletop. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video or got some ideas on how you can model uh, your epic models. And until the next one, have a great day. Thanks.